Hi guys, I'm not here. We're gonna do a movie review. Hope you enjoy. The movie's name is The Isle of Dogs, made by the guy that made Mr. Fantastic Fox. I like the storytelling he did in the movie. Pretty good. It looked like a freaking like they would tell you in type of bed story or something. Mm -hmm. Kind of good. Like a book chapter. Chapter one, the island, or something like that. But anyway, it was an interesting movie. It began 20 years in the future in Japan, and they have a pretty cool with the drums, pretty cool music drums in the beginning at a school, I think it is. And then they have the president doing the law of send all the dogs into the island or where they began. Yeah. Damn it, I forgot what it was. Ah, they issued the law to send them in there into that trash island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, into the trash island. And the first one to go was actually our main protagonist's dog, Spots. And he's like, oh, fuck! He's like, in his mind, I think he's thinking, oh shit, I'm fucked now. And then they were sending them, oh, they were talking about history about the mayor himself, the history about the clan Yoshida. Was the clan Yoshida? Oh, yes, it was. Oh, Kobayashi. Kobayashi clan. Sorry for... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. But it was the Kobayashi clan anyway. And they began with a type of Japanese samurai story. Where they told about the brave boy against the samurai lord that wanted to exterminate the dogs back in the past. It's basically something that some people loved cats and some people love dogs, but it was basically they will hunt them and then the brave samurai warrior boy came to their rescue and defeated the evil man or the evil lord, I say. Sorry. The evil lord in the past. And they do a stage play in the movie referencing it as well. Mm -hmm. And it was our main protagonist's favorite stage play. Is it a stage play? It's a type of... It's a stage play, I think it is. They tell a story with... I, I'm not so very smart on that. Like, The thing is, it's like um, they have the mask, they have the makeup, they have everything. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like a stage play, we could say. Okay. It's a Japanese thing. It's. I don't remember what it was called again. But anyway, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I've watched a lot of anime, so I enjoy, you know, I enjoy the Japanese culture. Pretty fun. The sad part is, though, that I couldn't understand certain scenes. I could understand them in a physical sense of what was happening, but not what they were speaking. Because they spoke fully good Japanese, but I couldn't understand for the life of me what they said. But I could understand the actions. So the scientists were making up a cure for the dog disease that plagued the land. And the president was like, we need to eliminate this threat. And, oh, I forgot to mention. Oh, I forgot to mention the important part in the beginning. That one of the scientists talked about that the dog was actually a loyal friend. They have done a loyal stuff. And now we are disregarding them in their time of need. When we have been loyal to them. Or they have been loyal to us for many generations. Mm -hmm. And we are disregarding them now. In their time of need. That's what the scientist said. The good scientist guy. That's actually smart. You know, I applaud this movie for having a good scientist actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, the good scientists meet a timely end. By some sort. I will not tell you how, but... It's pretty kind of like he would have seen it coming. He's a smart guy, so he's not like... But, um... How should I say? Continue the story. Yes, I'm drinking first. Anyway, the boy tries to find his dog, goes to the island, flies in a freaking small little jet plane that he made himself, mm -hmm. and he takes it from the Japanese airport. Takes it off. And everything is recorded like freaking... Big Brother here. It gave me some form of Big Brother vibe here. They record everything, they do everything. And they have a club with a exchange student, which has actually a love crush on our main protagonist. Mm -hmm. And I was like, obviously I can see this go from miles ahead. 
I could clearly see this. The thing is, I enjoyed it, but it was like, I saw that she had a crush on him. Greta. Uh, great. Uh, Greta. Her name was uh, Tracy. 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 Oh my god. Tracy Walker. You confused me. Okay. Anyway, my co pilot confused me about the name. Anyway, though. Tracy Walker. Tracy Walker. Yep. And she's from the United States. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyway, I enjoyed the movie. It was pretty funny. And the dog actually said something self aware. One of the dogs, which was Rex, mm -hmm. which was the, the one with the yellow type of fur, or um, yeah, dog fur, or skin, uh, no, hair, hair. Mm -hmm. He said, this is clearly child abuse, and looked at the audience, looked at me, and at the audience at the movie theater, he said, this is clearly child abuse. Mm -hmm. Vote! Everyone was like, they did a voting system in this movie, they were like, before we go attack each other like savages, could we, could we consider what is inside of this garbage bag? Is it worth to sacrifice our lives? He was basically saying, is it worth to sacrifice our life for garbage? Which is, they are literally on a garbage island. It's like metaphor, pun of gold, just struck from the heavens. I'm just saying, struck from the heavens. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the review. It's not the best explained review, I think. It's very good to play. The thing is, I enjoyed the jokes from the actors and Scarlett Johansson in this movie. She's very good. Every one of these guys are very good actors. And we have a husky, we have a stray dog, and we have a football dog. Here we have all the dogs, so you can see it clearly. This is the guy um, there. Uh, Rex. Rex. That guy. Nope. Nope. Rex. That one. Nope. That one. Come on. There. That's the guy that basically said, Oh yeah, this is clearly child abuse now. Mm -hmm. And they voted. They did like this. Chief and Bob, you know, every one of them. The dogs were like... The dogs were named uh, Chief, Rex... Uh, one moment. Two seconds. Co-pilot need to help. Boss. Boss. And Duke. Boss and Duke. Everyone was voting and they were like, Three out of four, we win. And Rex, uh, Chief is like, Oh, damn it, I don't want to save this kid. Though, to be fair, I understand he is a bit tough. But he has been, you know, he lived his whole life outside in the city. And for some weird reason, the dog that our main protagonist tried to get, he knows about his age for some reason. Mm. But that's later on, of course. That's later on, sorry. But anyway... I think myself that the dog that is the street dog, he's basically Master Chief from Mass Effect. Not the Mass Effect, um, Halo series. Whoops, sorry for mentioning that. Sorry for confusing it. I bite. He was like, I bite. No questions. Don't pet me. I understand he has a hard exterior, but it's that he has a soft heart. He's a nice person. He's not an asshole. The point is that he knows how to survive. And everyone else said, oh, uh, hey, Master Chief. Yeah, we call him basically Master Chief from now on. He's basically Master Chief from uh, Mass Effect. Um, from Halo. Oh, my God. I still confuse that for now. Anyway, I heard about Halo. I know about Halo. But anyway, he's basically Master Chief from Halo. And they say, you're the best fighter among us in the garbage trash or in the trash island. And they're like, vote for who should fight the robot dog. We go rescue the kid. Vote. Woof. And they're like, yeah, we go, voted. And he's like, oh, should I really fight the dog? Or should I really fight the robot dog? Come on, guys. And he's like, no, it's your turn. We're going to save the kid. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry for my words. But it's basically like that. They're like, screw you. And he's like, oh, my God, I'm going to fight the robot. He's like, all right, just fucking fight then. Though, to be fair, they fight it. Out. <clears throat> Two seconds. Though, to be fair, they fight it with some, I think, some other dogs, some fluff dogs, some... Fluffy dogs. Yeah, some fluffy dogs that are an English breed, I don't remember. Mm. But they fight them, and they're like, that's our food. And they're like, yeah, now we fight. And they were fighting. And it's basically the style of Mr. Fox. Basically, they have clouds for fighting, and they're like... And one of them said, oh my god, he shoot off your ear, man. 
He like, um, yeah, all right, all right, it's just fine, it's just fine. And then the guy like, yeah, we pushed the ear to your side, now it's yours. And then the rats decided to take it. I yeah, forgot to mention some rats. that. Some rats eat. It's the ear. <laughs> As lunch. Yay, we have lunch for Mindy. <laughs> I didn't know if I said something there. I think I got stuck in my mouth. <laughs> Continue the history. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Have fun time and enjoy. Anyway, I'm just jumping around here, but um, the school girl basically do like, uh, you know, they support the scientist, hate the president. Mm -hmm. But also, I forgot to mention, ah, uh, no, I forgot to mention the flashback thingy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I forgot to mention the flashback that the dog spots talks about the flashback. And we think that the dog spots is dead in the movie. Spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. And in the flashback we see that our main protagonist's parents died in a freaking train accident that freaking bended like... It was basically like, imagine those fast trains, those modern fast trains, except they would be like, sneering like this, like a circle of train pieces burning. I think, I clearly think that the guy that is the president, what was the guy? The guy that is the president leader, the, the president of the people in that country, and his secretary, the evil Majordomo. Yes, the Majordomo thing. Yeah, yeah. Majordomo. Yeah, Majordomo. Oh my god. This is his name. Majordomo. Oh my god, I'm just gonna show you this. <sighs> Come on. Yes, the Majordomo here. The... There. That guy. There. Majordomo. Yeah, that guy. That guy there. I hope you saw it. Come on. Bah. <laughs> Whatever. It's not my phone, but... Anyway, that's the Mayor Domo. The, basically the guy that's next to the president guy in Japan. Anyway, he's like, I'm evil. I, I, I saw him clearly being the evil man. But I was like awkward. He's like, he's going close like this. Like this, he's going close like this. Like, yes, you should not pet the dog. And he's like, what the? In my mind, it was this. What the fuck? Cannot you let the kid pet the dog for once? It's fucking his guardian. You assigned this dog to protect him at all costs. Let him do what he wants. Oh, also the... You know, I think the mayor guy, uh, the leader guy, is not truly evil. He's conflicted. Because, um, yeah, we see some fun adventures inside of the Scrap Island as well. They were like walking around. What was the music? The music was really good. I will give 10 out of 10 for the music. 10 out of 10 for the music. No question asked. No questions asked on that department. Anyway, I like the animation style. Also, it was interesting. It's the same stop animation that I wanted to do for some of my Lego movies. Or it's actually the same one that I did for the Lego movies I have on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. But this one is, of course, a bit more advanced. And it's with puppets, of course. I think. I think it's with puppets. Anyway, though. We actually see an interesting thing about history, about that the clan never forgave the samurai boy that betrayed. He betrayed, he said, against my own kind, humans. Uh, did he not say that in the beginning? Hmm. Yeah, they said that basically in the legend. Or, it's not a legend, actually. It's more of basically the boy betrayed humans that were allied with the cats, basically. They like the cats. It's not easy to explain, but they like the cats. So that's why everyone had a cat in the in the in the movie. Everyone had a cat, and then they unfortunately happened something that I don't want to tell right now. Maybe I will tell it in part two. Should I do a part two? Anyway, though, we continue with their journey, and I don't understand this. From one point, the Japanese boy is like they don't. They're like saying we don't understand what he's saying, <laughs> but we technically understand what he feels. But also, the Japanese boy, uh, the protagonist, when, I'm sorry. When he crashes. Uh, when he crashes, he gets two metal pieces in his brain. Yeah. I don't understand this. He gets a metal piece like this. Chunk stuck in here. I'm like, 
dude, you should seriously check your brain. And the other guy's like, yeah, the other dog is actually saying this, that he must have a screw loose in his brain. And he jacks it out of his body. He jacks it out. He's like, Arr! and then he's like, oh, oops. Boom. And they're like, oh my god, do we need to carry this kid? Seriously, what the hell? But it's like, I will jack it out so I will still be fine. So after that. He jacked it out of his brain like this. What? This was stuck like this. Uh, it was stuck like this, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, that's clearly not good to jack out like that. Cool. It's a metal screw piece. It's like a metal pipe. Um, it's like this. It's a big metal pipe thingy. And he just jacked it out of his brain. What do you think would have happened? Of course, he knocked himself out. He's basically, whoa! Whoa. He's not dead. Though, to be fair, he should have been dead by having two metal pieces in his brain. Mm -hmm. Which are two pipes, by the way. But, of course, I understand this is a Mr. Fox type of movie, so we cannot have that. That's impossible. Oh, wait, they had a dead, actually. They had a death. Actually, they had a clear death. And that was the scientist guy, unfortunately. But for some reason, I don't understand this. He was getting a dish. He was getting a Japanese traditional food special thing. And the cook that made it, he was like, everything in this movie is beautiful on its own. What do you like about the music? Friendship on the... It was like 80s music or 80s or 90s. They were really good songs. I couldn't remember what they were for my life right now. Go on. Go on, on and on. I don't remember them, damn it. Really good music though, but a 10 out of 10 on that department again. But I don't remember exactly. But he died by just doing this. He just.